As a part of our special series on mental health, reporter Scott Gearman spoke to a high school student who talks about her own experience with managing stress while maintaining good grades. She's very concerned about her future. Students dealing with stress isn't something new. The National College Health Assessment explains that the number one issue for students is anxiety and depression. But these problems don't just begin in college and high school students have their own struggles. A recent study published by the Pew Research Center showed that 70% of high school teens show signs of anxiety and depression. That is a major problem. But inside the classroom, many students are preparing for life after high school and dealing with the pressures of classes with a high workload. Santa Susana High School student Mitra Hushmandi says there is a lot of pressure. I lose sleep all the time. I don't sleep. I don't get to eat normally. I don't spend time with my family. Hushmandi said she had a difficult childhood which made her vulnerable to high stress situations in the classroom. It's really mentally deteriorating. Anything that I do wrong is going to affect something about my future. I'm doing community college because it's cheap and it's good education. But after that, I don't know what I'm going to do because I know I'm not good enough to qualify for scholarships. I know I'm not like any special or any different from other people. So it's color coded for them. They're Teachers great. in the classrooms are sometimes the only ones to see and hear the struggles of students. Royal High School teacher Brett Daly says many students come to him. If they don't trust you enough with their problems, how are you supposed to teach them? Okay, so the idea is not to be the psychiatrist or, you know, to sit down and actually, you know, diagnose the problem, but to be able to have the conversation. High school students are more stressed than ever. Experts say teachers and administration need to maintain a watchful eye. For Valley View News, I'm Scott Gearman.